Hey, my name is Mika Kral. I'm a senior director in Microsoft at ISO World Summit. My session will be actually quite odd. It is talking about reasoning and critical thinking for architects. Looking through all of the various engagements and architectural flaws which we commit um, and what I saw throughout the history in my about 20 years career, uh, not just in Microsoft but elsewhere as well, it's quite interesting to see that one of the biggest flaws that we do are the reasoning flaws. It's not so much the problem in selecting technology, the problem of understanding the business, but is bridging properly the business problems with technology solutions. So just from perspective of argumentation and perspective of how we do reasoning as architects, because face it, reasoning is the key tool that architects need to have in their arsenal to properly do the traceable logical conclusions of why are we offering or uh, investing into certain technologies or certain parts of the architecture environments. So if you're looking into the proper structure of arguments, it's interesting that so few architects are aware that the conclusion that we are offering to our customers is actually compound of evidence and, and assumptions. And if you want to find what assumptions are, because face it, we very rarely document those assumptions. You just find the evidence and you check the conclusion, you remove the evidence away from the conclusion, you will see all the assumptions that we are making. The session will also talk about how do we properly evaluate the arguments, how we, actually what are the most common reasoning flaws that we commit, from selective perception all the way to poor analogies and uh, non-representative assumptions and so on. Uh, even the worst ones, which we very frequently commit, which is, for example, selecting a good evidence and so on. Uh, lots of the focus I want to put on fallacies, because particularly fallacies like appeal to the popularity or appeal to uh, authority, which are fallacies that we as architects should never do, but frequently what we see is sometimes we use them as an offensive weapon, actually to bring our own point across. So the session will cover many different techniques, many different flaws and exposure points that we can do or shouldn't do in reasoning and critical thinking as architects. But on the other hand, if you come to my session, you will actually learn lots of techniques that you can use as a very, very strong persuasion tools when you want to bring your point across. Sometimes those tools are wrong, but very frequently they work and very frequently architects like to learn them how to 